Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to get this makeup look. I call it the smoky, kind of desert kind of vibe that I got from it. And uh, I hope you enjoy it. I was inspired by the Jaclyn Hills uh, Morphe palette, which I'm obsessed with. And the colors are just phenomenal. That They're so pigmented. So yeah, keep watching and you'll learn how to get this look in no time. Super easy, super simple. Well, I think it's pretty easy. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below or send me a little message on Instagram and I'll reply to you since I don't have that many subscribers. I'll try to post more videos more often and I really hope that you guys are enjoying this. If not, then I hope you really enjoy this. Have a good day. All right, I'll let you watch the channel. I'm going to start by moisturizing my face with the Declare um, Youth Supreme Concentrate sort of a serum. It drops. Then I'm going to use the Makeup Forever HD in the shade Y365 and I'm also going to mix it with the Y225. I'm then going to use the lighter shade at the bottom as a concealer and I'm going to go a bit lower and on the bridge of my nose center of my forehead and right there to bronze my face i'm going to use the makeup forever hd stick as well, again but in the shade 505 y505 Gonna need a lot more of that. I'm starting to have this obsession with cream products. I like to use the creams because it gives your face more of a dewy tone and I think that makes you look really magical and glowy and dazzling and I can't think of any other words now I'm going to go in with the eyes and come back to finish off the face later I'm going to use the foundation that I the lightest foundation on my I mean on my eyelids just to set up that one Tone, but then we're gonna put shadow on it, therefore I won't crease. And then I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hills eyeshadow palette from Morphe. I'm gonna put the shade Silk Cream right here. I'm gonna use that shade and put it all over my crease very lightly. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade. I believe it may be called Pukey. I'm not sure why. I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna pack that at the corner ends of my eyes. I should take the blending brush and just blend that very gently. And then I'm gonna apply that same shadow on my blending brush and I'm gonna pack it on as well as I'm blending as I go. And I'm bringing it higher. And I'm going to drag it more to the center, just the top on the crease, not on the actual lid. I'm going to go back with the small brush and I'm going to 
add that over it again make the color more intense and then blend that again and drag it out as I'm blending now I'm gonna use that same shadow and I'm gonna go inner crease not completely to the tear duct but right here and I'm going to take the blending brush and I am gently going to blend that. Add more pigment. Blend again. Very lightly. Blend the crease. I'm going to use a small brush like this. Go and use the shade Central Park, which is this one. And I'm gonna put that right at the end as, a, as if I'm giving myself a wink. And then we're gonna blend again, very, very gently. I'm just gonna go back with the pukey color and just go over it. And then I'm going to use a concealer brush and I'm gonna go back with my uh, foundation and I'm gonna put that in the center, oh, there. And there, and we're gonna blend it just the center, like that. And then I'm gonna take this brush and I'm going to use the sparkling shade Queen, this one. And I'm gonna apply that on the foundation area to stick that Queen color. So once you have applied that and blended with the corners of each side, I'm gonna go back with the other brush, take the pukey color again and apply that over it on each side. And then blend it with the other glittery blush with the excess. And then take the bigger blending brush and just give a nice little gentle sweep. Then I'm gonna use a, another thicker brush, like so. And I'm gonna go in with the first shade right here, which is called In Light. And I'm gonna apply that on my brow bone. Very lightly, not too much. And I'm gonna mix a bit, a bit of the Queen color, just so it has the same undertone. And then I'm gonna go and repeat pretty much the same process at the bottom. So we're gonna go back with the pukey color, put it at the bottom, all the way to the center. Same thing with the other side. And then I'm gonna use that same brush with the shade and light and a mixture of the queen. This with the mixture of that. And I'm gonna put that in my tear duct. So that is it for the shadows. Then I'm gonna take the Lise Wetsi waterproof eyeliner in black brown. And I'm gonna put that in my waterline. And I'm gonna finish off the eyes with my voluminous mascara in carbon black and I'm gonna put that only at the bottom since I have eyelash extensions on. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. I'll use the usual goof proof 
brow pencil in the shade number four. And I'm gonna use the same technique that I always do for my brows. So now I'm gonna continue with my face. I did the foundation, I did a bit of bronzing, but now we're gonna go in and do some contouring with powder. I'm gonna use my favorite angle brush and I'm gonna go in with these two colors from the Smashbox palette. I'm gonna mix them and carve my cheekbone. That's it for contouring. For my blush, I'll be using the usual as well. As you can tell, I use the same basic products because they truly are my favorite. Uh, this is a bl subtle blush in bronze flush. That's what it looks like. I'll take a smooth, fluffy, angled brush. I'm gonna smile. I'm going to use my mixture of uh, setting spray that I made myself and I'm going to put that all over my face. I'm going to take the other side of my blending brush and I'm going to use Hustla Baby by Fenty Beauty as my highlighter. Very champagne kind of color. And I'm going to press that on my cheekbones. I'm going to bring it to my temples, close to my temples, and then to the cheekbones, a bit on the forehead, a bit on the nose, on the bridge of the nose, on the chin, over the lips, and that is it for the face. For my lips, I'm going to use the liquid lipstick. Should I use this? For the lips, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Liquid Lipstick in the shade 105. I'm going to use the Lancome Lip Liner to line my lips in the shade Movelle. And that is it for the lips. And that is it for the look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram at Jenya Bakshi, like that. Feel free to leave a comment below for any questions or any advice or just if you want to see another look or any other different videos that you would be interested in me uploading. And that is all and hope you have an amazing day. Thank you for watching.